Somebody say, grab a hold. Grab a hold. Come on, Peter. Uh, the Bible said, Peter, uh, when he was on that ship, amen to God, he saw and uh, it was boisterous. The wind were blowing left, right, and center. The pillars were dashing, and the winds were blowing, amen to God. And Peter looked, and he said, he saw one walking on the water. <laughs> My God from heaven. And when he saw that person coming, and he heard the voice, he said, Jesus, if it be you, if it be you, bid me to come. Amen to God. Peter started to weigh the option. If I get off board, I might die. But if Jesus is on the water, and if he said it, I'm going to hold fast to it. I want to get a point to you that if you have determined that God is of more importance than the life you choose, you got to grab a hold of God. You got to grab a hold of, of what is of most important. You got to fill it. Amen. Search and validate what is of importance to you. Pat Tillman determined that his life was of no value and that his country was of greater value. How much more me and my God? How much more should I say the value? The friend that I found in Jesus who is more than life to me. How much more should I say? I'll hold on and never let go. The Bible said Jacob, 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 Jacob crabbed on. Amen to God to that angel. Amen when he determined that this angel had something that he had. Something that he desired. Something that would benefit him. The Bible said that he held on. He said I will not let go until you have blessed me. For my amen, greater good is to walk with Jesus. My greater good is to have him everywhere I go. My greater good is to have him in my vessel. For if he's in my vessel, I can smile in the storm. It doesn't matter what the enemy is trying. I can hold on and not let go. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Peter said, if it be you, Jesus said, come. Amen. My God. It is not easy to walk out when things are rough. It is not easy to step out of your comfort zone to walk with Jesus. Somebody talk to me. But Peter, somebody said, Peter. Peter said, if you say, come, Lord, I'm going to come. And so Peter grabbed the hold of his word. My God, I wish we'd grab a hold of his word. Peter grabbed the hold of his word. Amen to God. And that word became that floating device that Peter needed. Amen. And Peter hold it on. And said, I'm going to hold on and I won't let go. Peter stepped out. Amen to God. He counted the cost. Amen to God. For he saw that the waves were rough and the pillars were dashing. Amen. If you said it, I'm going to do it. Amen to God. Be the step out of nothing. I'm wondering if you have weighed your cause. I'm wondering if your life is of more importance than that which God has promised you. The Lord said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. The Lord said, come unto me, all he that are weary and are heavy laden. He said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and Lord. The Lord wants you to make a decision. But the problem is, we only care to hold on to the things that we have predetermined is good. And not necessarily to what God has called good. We hold on to what we think is good for us. And we've never stopped to ask God, is it good for me? We have this thing called predeterminism. We have determined that my way and what I think is the right way. And so we walk according to our own philosophies. And we walk according to our own ways. But 
not your way, it's the way of death. But the Bible said to be carnally minded, the word carnally minded, to be temporal. To be temporally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Somebody say life and peace. So if you are determined to walk our own way, you're walking to your own grave. Oh Lord. Lord, help me this morning. Lord, Lord. We are illusioned to think that we can choose because of free will what we desire outside of the parameters of God's command. And not only do we think that we can choose outside of the parameters of God's commandment because of our free will. We do it and we expect God to bless us. We choose our own ways and expect God to say, well done. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. You can only be blessed of God if you do what he has determined for you to do. That's right. Come on. Come on. Well, that's all right. I don't need your amen anyways. Amen to God. When you have chosen to walk and to go your own way, you're on your own. That's right. That's true. And God will never bless you in your situation. My God. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. In the case of Pat Tillman, many people wanted to put him in heaven. Many people said Pat Tillman was a good man and he died for his country and he's going to heaven. But you know what his brother said at his funeral? He said, Pat Tillman is going straight to hell. Oh, my God. For Pat Tillman didn't believe in God. My God. You can make your own decision and think that God will bless you. You're making a fool of your own self. That's right. Amen. Yes. Amen. But I the lonely way of thinking. Yes. Rough, rough and toilsome though may be. Although this spice forsaken, yes. Jesus, I will go through with thee. Yes. Amen to God. I want God to determine my steps. But the Bible said the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And I am determined that I must go through with Jesus. Yes. Amen. 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 Oh, Help me, Lord. You can't be a Saul and expect to reign with Christ. No, no, no. Amen. For we have some Saul's spirit. Yes. For Saul wanted to do what Saul wanted to do. For the Lord told Saul to kill right. all the Amalekites. Everything. Oh. And Saul mm -hmm. weighed the option. Lord have mercy. Are you with me today? Yes. He counted the cost. Mm -hmm. He weighed the option. That's right. And he determined save them, the that best. if I save the, the royalties yes. and keep the best flock, I will benefit. Lord have mercy. And that's a blessing from God. But I heard Samuel say, My God. You have, what have you done? Mm -hmm. What is this I hear the bleating of the sheep? He said, Well, the people have done it. Mm -hmm. And I try to do God's will, but the people have done it. <laughs> Samuel said, You have rebelled against God. Amen to God. Simon tried to walk away, grabbed the shirt, and ripped the God to just he said, just as you ripped my shirt, God has rented the kingdom from you. You can't do your own thing and expect to be blessed of God. No, We have some soul spirits. If we can't get what we want, we become venomous. Oh God. Oh my God. But we have to count the cost. Amen. Come on, somebody. Yes, yes. God is looking for a neighbor. God is looking for somebody who will stand. Somebody is looking, God is looking for somebody who will not bend. Somebody who will not bow. He's looking for a neighbor. That's it. I've got my father's inheritance. And I will not. For I am forbidden to give it to you. I'm forbidden to give it or to sell it to you, Ahab. I will not move from this position. God be between and you. I made a choice to walk with God. And it doesn't matter what you present to me. 